It is new laser day in the shop and today we are focusing on the Atom Stack A12 Pro. Now in this video we're going to go through setting this thing up, we're going to go through testing it, and we're also going to explore can this thing start a small business for you. So with that being said, let's jump into the video. Now first impressions on this laser is this thing is built like a beast. I've never seen a dial laser before where you didn't have to clamp it all together with screws in the corners. This is actually one solid frame. The benefit of that is it's always going to be perfectly aligned. You're not going to have to worry about that frame kind of be out of square like a lot of the other dial lasers can get when you're putting them together. So that is just one thing you're never going to have to worry about on this Atom stack. So the setup on this laser was really a breeze. Going into the instruction manual, there's actually basically two pages of assembly instructions. Compare that to most dial lasers where there's page after page. This thing, you can be up and running in no time. The steps are basically you attach the base for the laser module, then you can attach the laser module itself, attach the cabling to the laser module, and then you have the hose for the air assist. Now the air assist is integrated, which is great. The reason that is great is for a few different reasons. One, you're only dealing with one power cord for this machine. So you have your air assist plugged into the machine and it's powered off that. But the main thing it's great for is in software like Lightburn, you don't have to manually be turning on your air compressor or not. In the software it can do, so it can do that. So when you're cutting, you can have air on. When you're engraving, if you don't want air, you can turn it off all in the software. You're not gonna have to be watching that cut each time and doing it manually. Basically the only other few things you gotta do is if you wanna use Wi-Fi, it comes with a little Wi-Fi port there. It also has a key for shutting on and off. Um, you can take that key if you don't want anyone messing with it. So it's got a couple of key features like that as well. Now I really can't say enough what a joy it really is for these machines just to open up a box and be ready to go in a matter, a matter of minutes really. Now the unibody frame itself is made out of aluminum so that's a benefit you have both lightweight, you have strength that comes with it. Uh, the overall cutting and engraving area is 365 millimeters by 305 millimeters, which really is going to probably be enough for most of the projects you're going to want to do. Now it does come with a panoramic filter glass cover. Now what that's going to do is going to uh, hopefully shield your eyes from any of the, the blue light. You don't want to be looking at the blue right light. It can be dangerous. It's supposed to block, I think, 97% of UV light. Now the design is supposed to kind of eliminate the need for wearing goggles, laser goggles. Now personally, I always wear goggles when using dial lasers. Whenever I'm dealing with my eyes, I definitely don't want to take any chances. So even with this shield, I'm just going to recommend wearing the goggles anyways. Now this is a bit of a unique power setup. Most of the dial lasers you're going to see in a 10 watt, 20 watt, maybe a 40 watt. This setup is actually two 6 watt lasers which gives you a combination of 12 watts of power. Now this is kind of a nice sweet spot because you're still getting enough power to cut quarter inch material cleanly, but you are also keeping the actual size of the laser beam small to give you that fine detail that you want for engraving. Now the software I'm gonna use for this is Lightburn. Lightburn is kind of an industry standard as far as laser cutting software. So let's dive into that software side of things on this. We'll see how easy it is to connect it to Lightburn. I've had with other lasers in the past, I've had some issues. So we'll see connectivity wise, if this thing's gonna just load right up and we'll go from there. So I have the atom stack all set up in the closure. Now with a dial laser machine like this, open frame, you're gonna want some type of enclosure to extract the fumes. Also, I kind of have a shield to block my view of the laser, even though it does come with that shield, I have goggles. Kind of the extra safety protection is what I, I like to have with these dial lasers. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is run a test card, a test material, kind of see where my settings are gonna be at for future projects. So we'll do that now. Now that I have my test cards done, I can see what the settings should be. First thing I'm gonna do is a little engraving. Now this is where a machine like this really shines. That small dial laser does a great job in engraving. So we'll do a few engravings. I normally kind of do, uh, I have like the little line or my logo, I usually do those. 
um, for a lot of the machines I use, just kind of test them out. And then I can kind of compare them to each other to see how well they do. So we'll do those engravings now. So the engravings turned out really well, very crisp. That little line looked great. Uh, you can still see the little grain in the wood. That's more the wood's fault, not the engraver fault. But the detail on that was very crisp. Really pleased with that. All right, the last thing I'm gonna try out is doing a Christmas ornament. Now I'm gonna use kind of two sheets of plywood. I'm gonna have one just a natural grain. I also have one already painted with a double stick tape on the back, which makes it really easy to put the two pieces together. The plywood I'm using is three millimeter plywood. And this is just a great example of perfect, uh, perfect use for this machine. Now these machines are great for, I would say up to a quarter inch material in um, this 12 watt laser. But using that three millimeter, material or eighth inch material, I think they're, they're about the same. It really, uh, really shines in that. So let's load up that material and we'll get started cutting. So overall, the pressures of the machine is it's built like a beast. That solid frame is awesome. Also, the integrated air assist where you're able to, in the software and light burn, you can turn that on and off. That is really nice. Where normally I have it off for engraving, I have it on for cutting, and then you get a lot crisper lines for engraving and cutting and 
works out very well that way. So the ornament I did turned out really nice. Now a little pro tip is using that double stick tape, have it already painted. It saves a ton of time when putting these things together. And that's just another example of this machine. This is just kind of uh, for gift giving, but definitely you could do this in a business side as well. Um, you're going to be slower with a 12 watt laser compared to a higher, higher end laser, or I should say higher wattage laser. But what you do gain then in the smaller wattage is having that crisp engraving. So it's kind of a trade off what you want. Do you want more power? Do you want a little less crisp engraving? Uh, that's kind of up to you, but definitely wouldn't be scared off by the lower wattage lasers. I think people get carried away. Oh, we got to get the the highest wattage we can. And really about 90% of the time, all I do is this eighth inch plywood anyways. So it goes a little slower, but it's still very capable of that. So if you do have any questions on this Atom Stack laser, please leave them in that comment section below. I will provide the affiliate link for this machine. So if you're interested in purchasing it, you can click on that link and uh, it really helps out the channel. And it's a great little machine. So as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY and we'll see you on the next one.